Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Zips and welcome back to Wild Frost. My original plan was to do regular Wild Frost video for one final war round of warm up before I do my segment of the second part of the Brondo Campfire collab. But uh, I've learned from one of Voix's videos that apparently Hollow Frost got a pretty decent update. So, so we can actually look at some specifics of that in the mod page. Here it says, adds nine unique leaders, five class leaders. I don't think that was part of the text last time. Two pets. Now, previously it was only one pet, so we have a new pet to play. 29, 29 companions, 22 item cards, and eight charms. I don't know. I don't remember the previous number of companions, item cards, or charms, but so... We'll just have to see if we see anything new. So let let us go into. Uh, I need to pull up my. All right, I got I got today's name for I got a name here for us today. Whoa! What? What is these guys? It's the fucking warrior dreams. What the hell? <laughs> What are the what are they doing here? Interesting. So we got No Eyes, Markov, and Zero. I don't Zero, yeah. And Zero. So Zero looks pretty average. This kind of unit looks pretty No Eyes looks pretty dang good to me. Apply two ink aimless. This is basically the snow leader a less HP version of the snow leader that I like, but instead this one applies ink. So I think I'm going to click no eyes today. You know, I forgot. In Hollow Frost, I don't do... I don't name the leaders. Oh, yeah, and we got Zote Precept number 23. Apply 3 wound. Take damage when applied and after triggering. Okay, cool. So let us take Zote Precept number 23. Alright, sounds good. With 8, H 8 HP, why? <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, I guess we're not playing, no eyes. Give me a second. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, we do got no eyes again, but we got <laughs> this annoying guy, Gal Galeen. With gain four, I will admit I did like the original leaders because I did think they were a bit more, a bit more interesting. With the, like, the original leaders, I think had more interesting effects. The ones with like the you that revolved around like hitting the redraw bell. Wait a second! Oh, oh, is this working? Like, is this? Is the idea of this meant to be more like how wild, how regular Wild Frost leaders were? It's because No Eyes here has one more HP and one less turn counter. So this unit is like insane now. I think that, I guess that's how they're trying to do it. Okay. Anyway, we are going to do Zote Preset. Let's see if we can actually do No Eyes this time. Alrighty, cool. No Eyes, a very cool, a very neat fight in very neat fight in hollow hollow night i do remember fighting this this guy or girl i don't know what what's your gender no eyes Ooh, having a unfortunately for me i cannot get a combo kill here i should have just i should have set up for one that was my b my b so we got a <laughs> Zote has such a goofy name. Zote Preset. Need to make sure I'm snowing the goblin here. Which is probably what I'm just gonna try doing because I don't need to I won't have to worry about Winter Worm here. If I if Void Mask hits Alright. Well it's still a... Alright, you are just killing. Alright, so Zote. <laughs> Zote Preset number 23 should be dealing 3 damage here. Interesting. 
did work the way I thought it would. Can't I kill here if I... I don't act... I shouldn't actually redraw on this turn. I should go for a multi-kill because I can re... I can hit... Yeah, I can hit Void Mask and we would have... We would have had Lethal on Snow Knight and we would have gotten out of this fight without getting a combo kill. Damn, this channel bill is... Did they buff? Oh yeah, another thing I remember hearing about changes. Uh, apparently there's been some bounce changes. So we'll have to see those as we continue. Uh, Snow Knight. Way to bleed me dry of money. I'll go the bot bottom path. We have two frozen travelers. Let's try to see some new stuff. Snail shot. Nah! <laughs> My snail sh <laughs> They nerfed snail shaman! Broken vessel. I think this this one's new. Ooh, broken vessel. Very cool fight. And this card art, even though it's just from the game, this looks sick. <laughs> Apply two poke poison. Target retains poison. Oh, so the poison doesn't tick down? Interesting. I think I can click that. I'll click that. GG's cookie box. No, no. No, I don't think I will. And I'm not and I'm not taking junk. Brum. Trigger the redraw bell. <laughs> Interesting. I will say I don't remember I don't really know what this guy is from. Cause I don't think when I first played Hollow Knight, I don't think I did the Grim The Grim Trope DLC. But I'll click it. Yes, yes, I'm a fake Hollow Knight fan. Say it in the comments. Okay. So I can snow Shrudels and then we won't have to deal with it. Unfortunately, I don't have the means to get a multi-kill here. So we are going to be missing out on some money once again. Ah, wait. 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 Oh yeah, sure does has eight health. What am I doing? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Shirtles has eight health. Thankfully, we don't take damage. Thanks to no eyes. Thanks to no eyes' effect of inking. Do you have to kill? Do you have to kill a puffball here? But we might be able to get a nice multi-kill here. Sadly, we're not getting any money off the Goblin. The Goblin isn't running away, so maybe it can be seen as a double-edged sword. I'll take... Honestly, I'm just going to play Brum here, and then I'm just going to recall Brum. So, it should be fine. Although, ooh, Shroom Gobbler is dealing a lot of damage. I don't actually... Do I have to re- Hold up, I'm curious on some- Uh, nah, I'm not gonna try it. I was wondering, can I- Couldn't I use- Okay, this is fine. Oh shit, my broken vessel's not doing anything though! Man, how can you do it to my man? He just wants to be free. He, he doesn't even- he, he doesn't even want to be here, man. Alright, we're gonna say save Isma's tier for next turn so we can get hit by the poison. And then we can just immediately cleanse ourselves of it. That should be good. Let's Zote hit the No, I won't. We'll do it the order like order like this. We're getting a multi. That gets us another multi kill. Although my money is not looking too great. So we did skip past a, a, um, yeah, your poison does not decrease. We did piss, we did piss past a fro, fro no, blank still cave. That's what I meant to say. Okay, we'll just know you. Wait, what? Your poison did go down. Oh, infect it. Infected units retain poison. Well, then why weren't you infected? Infected at- Wait, did I- Oh, it was it because you were inked? Oh, no, we have anti-synergy. 
Ah, shit. Oh, crap. Pure Nail, we did see you earlier. Apply one frost, deal one damage equals to the target frost with soul. Addition. Oh, wait, no. Deal one additional damage to frost frosted units. And then you have soul. When drawn, temporarily boost effects by one for each ally. That sounds pretty good. That sounds okay. Oh, uh, well, and I... Metabolism. <laughs> Willow, I remember you, Willow. I What? Is it Queen Station that you find Willow in? Eat and absorb ally in front of me. Ignores fragile. <laughs> Yomp. So it's unit in front. Hmm. And Confessor GG. When hit, deal 2 damage to enemies in row. Split. Split when 5 HP is lost. Both of these sound really interesting. Both of, the, both of these does sound quite interesting. I don't know if this... I don't think this unit would be as strong because it's kind of... It's Monch, but with like... Eat and absorb ally in front. See, this unit's interesting. This is like... Will is kind of like Monch with a effect that's worse for him for themselves, but easier to play around because it doesn't eat everything in the lane, so you can put your leader behind Willow and your leader won't die. My worry is I this clan doesn't seem like it has a ton of ways of... I'll click it. I, it's probably better than Confessor GG. Confessor GG sounds like... They would fall off really hard in the late game. Let's click Willow. Let's see if we can make this unit pop off. Let's just hope. Alright, I will take a crown here. So I can just take a shell bow and it's pretty damn good. Yeah, I do think it's pretty damn good to just take a shell bow. I'll crown the Willow. We'll take a shell bow. And then I'm going to call it. And then we'll call it for that shop. Probably better than. It's you. In a larger variety of cases. It's better than. Okay. We do have to get a void mask in here. <laughs> Cannibalism. My. See like. I, I get I get the lore reference. I, I get the I get I understand the lore reference because like when you use the dream nail on a willow it's like she's like damn you look fucking tasty I want to fucking eat you up I want to fucking yomp you up and then lo and behold what is what does willow's effect do she yomps up oh my god hold up Hold on, it works. All right, Willow has the potential to cook. Oh, this this is inter. Oh, this is interesting, cause it absorbs the effects too. Oh boy. Oh, that's ex that's exciting. Man, bro. See, I feel it feels so sad to be broken vessel this run because okay, the poison is retaining. The semen is retaining. <laughs> Damn, this fucking look at this item. Five, sno five frost. It, it's it's decent. It's okay. Not as crazy as I thought. Once thought, I'll let broken vessel take this hit, and I want to play a shell though. Ooh, I am redrawing. I should. Okay, so you kill that guy. I will. I'm not stopping the winter worm, so so f applying a lot of frost to it seems really good. The frost, like just stopping it, was good to me. So Brum, I think, would. Lot our units, our picks from this point onward are gonna be all about trying to support. Are all are gonna be all about trying to support Willow. Now, do I want to let Willow eat anybody? I I mean, honestly, maybe it's alright to let Willow eat Broken Vessel. 
It's a 6 HP loss. It's a 3 HP loss on Broken Vessel. God, I just realized I have no HP on the squad, so... My leader's gonna go... No eyes is gonna go down to 5 HP. Hmm. I, I just realized that. That's not good. So, likely the play I need to do here is... Kale or the Winter Worm, but then I'm like... Eh, I'm okay. You know what? Let's do it. I will... Let's eat up... Let's eat up Broken Vessel. Although... <laughs> I, be real, Willow. I don't think you want to eat a broken vessel. Ah, shit. I'm demonized. And I'm frosted. Fuck. Not cool, dudes. All right. We're going to Isma's tier here to get rid of these. To rid ourselves of these. Ah, shit, but I did heal you. I forgot that this item did that. We're, we're not killing things particularly quickly, but we're not in much danger. So I'm just going to keep shell bowing up. Right, we're not going to let Willow eat anyone else for the rest of this fight. Willow, Willow's hunger will need to be satiated. And see, for in this case, it is satiated. Yeah, you can just move Willow to the front. And you're fine. Eat the little bit of spice from the effect. Um. Ooh, wait. This is actually okay. I have a. I have a. We got a really good play here because we can pure nail bam, huh? To severely reduce the amount of damage we're taking. Wait, no. Uh. Uh. No. This was. This was bad. This. The, uh, okay, I can let my... We can let our leader... T we can let No Eyes take this. Take the hit from the Gobbler. This was bad. Because the Gobbler was becoming Zooted. We're redrawing here. Okay. My leader has 12 HP, so they can survive this. I'm not killing anything here, so the Gobbler isn't gaining attack. Which is, I was, you know, just a thing that you checked. Damn, I really wish at least one of my guys had one of these, these two had 3 HP. Thankfully, I can kill one of them with the... I can kill an enemy on the board with chan with a boosted channel nail. We'll just pale or the winter worm. Looks pretty good to me. Oh god, it feels it feels nice to be returning to to uh, Hollow Frost. This mod, mods are this is a really good mod. Definitely, I think I would if I were to choose between this and Poker Frost. I think I would have to say I like this mod more. It, some of that might be from bias bias because like you know i like i like hollow knight a lot and i really like saying like hey i know what that i know what that character is and does ooh, 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 hmm. gain six hp and fragile so remember we do have will it does it i did remember that it's mentioned that cannibalism ignores fragile We'll be taking the Curse Crown here. I think I will take... I w if I could, I would click this Jimbo Charm. Sunbell of Health is also, like, really good. I probably should just take Sunbell of Health here. Uh, Jimbo Charm, you'd be fun to play, but I don't think I will. I think I'm just a little bit too much of a coward. Okay, interesting bottom path. I was kind of hoping to see... Ooh, 75. High roll. Void charm. Gain void 3. Increase effects by 1. God. Can... Think so... Ass. Can only be given to items. Ech. We're not really doing much with fury charm this run. And it's, eh, it's not worth the money. Coiled Nail. Fly one? Whoa. Interesting. 
So I'm down to take a pink berry juice here. I think it's really nice. We're probably going to be playing slower and trying to buff up Willow. So that seems pretty damn good to me. I think I just want to take a charm here. Although Coiled Nail does seem really strong. I don't... So... My logic for wanting to pass up on Coiled Nail here is that we already have a pretty good item in. So the good thing about Coiled Nail is that it's it's great at countering Frost Lancer on the final fight. However, we do have a, already have a card that is good at countering at countering Fr Frost Lancer on the final fight in Pure Nail because Frost is really good against that Mofo. So we're gonna take a charm here. Bomb Skull Charm. I mean... Hmm. Interesting. A unit that's pretty strong to eat in this run is Brum. Because Brum just has a lot of stats. So it doesn't seem too bad to me. I gotta be real. And then, we can give Brum Bomb Skull Charm. And then, like, Willow also has the effect of... A s sneezing, because that feels like it's what I'm about to do. Nope, no sneeze. I think I... You could also give it to Broken Vessel. Mm. Like, Broken Vessel's not that valuable to eat. Brum is a valuable eat. And we, we should be able to get use out of this trigger out of this trigger the redraw bell effect and it's also like god damn i'm gonna sneeze again ah, can't stop sneezing can't my nose can't stop feeling weird unfortunately for me i don't really want to give a cursed crown to brum Let's see, it's 5 HP for attack, which is considerable, feels consi which does feel bad. Ugh, it does feel really bad. I could give it to Willow. Although, no matter what, it'd be the exact same. I'll probably, I'll probably give this to Brum. Well, I could hold out. I, I think I'll hold out. Let, let me look at this next fight. Are we scared of this next fight? Maybe. Maybe I am. And then getting Brum out there to immediately be able to explode would just be pretty nice. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to cut my losses. Because we can just die early. Which, you know, is never fun when that happens. There's no you. I can Shellbow here. Shellbow actually has a ton of value in this run because it's basically like we're with with um no with Willow eating drum twice br or drum twice. It it's basically like we're playing Shellbow on or no god damn it. With Willow eating Brum, who has who also got hit with the Shellbow, it's basically like Willow is getting Shellbowed twice, and then the sh second Shellbow does is not like a like hitting Willow for two. So it's eight it's eight shell you're getting on Willow in in the exchange. It's pretty damn good. I can give Brum this HP if I want to be cute. Not, not too bad, I think. Not too... Oh, wow. This Prickle sucks. So we have a ton of HP to work with. Just an absolute crap ton. An absolute buck ton. But this Prickle... I don't know if I can actually kill this Prickle. So I might just have to try killing the other enemies in this fight. Starting with the Shell Witch. I don't think I'm getting much use out of Broken Vessel this combat. Although I probably should just play it because I'm going to redraw anyway. I 
Okay, we can old nail the shell witch. To re redraw. Make sure your leader is not getting eaten by Willow. Because that would be a really embarrassing way to die. We can pure nail Pecan to keep Broken Vessel alive. And I do want to eat Broken Vessel. Wait. Uh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Did Pecan have. Did Pecan have frost on him? Or wait, does Pure Nail just always does the extra damage? That'd be pretty cool. If that's how it works, that's pretty cool. This is definitely a slower build that we're doing, and unfortunately for me, I don't really have the ability to kill the bottom shell witch. Because we need to deal with this Kronker. I can redraw here. Doesn't seem too good to me. What I think I'll do is I think I'll play Void Mask here, then I'll play Shellbow, and then I might redraw. Wait, is that possible? It's possible if I let Willow take this hit. We are just... It is a super slow build, but we are not really at risk of dying here. Just because we have so much shell we're working with. And I will be... Yeah, I will shellbow here. Ugh, but... Oh, maybe I should have killed Kronker here. Yeah, because I don't actually get to eat shellbow. I don't get to eat the Shade Soul here because we're taking it. We're taking too much damage for that to be viable. Alright, I really should have just killed the Conquer. I forgot about the Shell Witch giving Shell. Ooh, I could... Oh, wait, I actually can eat the... Yeah, because I can... I can Sunburst you to Willow. Yeah. And then you hit the redraw bell. In a weird way, I kind of welcome the this prickle because this prickle just sits here and doesn't actually hit me. And in this set and in this build, I'm just ignoring prickle. This run feels really this run feels really interesting so far. And you know what? This build, this clan, is good at playing out really long fights because Pale Ore gets progressively stronger throughout a fight. With focus. With focus, we act as one. Yeah, we'll just keep on shellbowing. I don't think. I don't think Bulgo has the ability to kill me here. <laughs> I, I never killing any of the units in this fight. Or I'm never, I'm never killing the pecan here. But like, and Bulgo just keeps getting inked, so like, it's never getting attacked. So Bulgo, Bulgo just stays small. In fact, it's weird to see such a small bul. It's weird to see such a small Bulgo. Bulgo is usually bigger than this. We inter that interesting. Right, we get the kill there. No ice does not attack another time, and and the prickle runs away. Ink sacks. That fight sounds like an issue. <laughs> Zoomlin nest. Should I actually play Zoomlin nest in this build? Since I've already put a curse crown on Brum, I. I think I'll click it, because it might, although Geo Chest, nah, I should just click Geo Chest here, because Geo Chest is too, is too scrap and gets us money. I'm going to take the bottom path with, with the Frozen Traveler, see if we can get units. I need two spice to all I, oh my god, wait, Nailsmith is crazy! Nailsmith is crazy in this run! 
win hate countdown turn counter by one hoy this thing's great nailsmith is a crazy yomp mask maker is also eh there's rail and uh, maybe there's maybe there's some value in in mask maker getting oh my god wait wait what about wait what if it's goji bird here actually if I can ever eat goji berry, it's a good amount. Because I do have the pink berry juice. What if this is how we win our run, actually, with goji berry? What if eating goji berry is actually what you do? This is a lot. Because then I get to deal a da additional damage equal. This is actually insane. Eating goji berry and putting it on willow? Are you kidding me? I'm clicking goji berry here. Goji bird is insane to eat. It's an insane yomp. Oh my god. That's crazy. Alright. At this point in the run, we just we wanna be taking card removals. Alright, let's see how this goes. Unfortunately here, this fight is really bad for us. This fight is downright kind of terrible, and I did not get a hand that was good at dealing with it. I do have ink on No Eyes, and this Octaco did roll a plus a plus one turn counter, so I should just be redrawing this hand. Okay, the ink there doesn't really matter. I can void. We can. Ah, oh, don't draw my draw my pale or Ugh, God, this fight's gonna be a rough one. It looks like I just have to Void Mask here. Unfortunately, I really wanted Brum to blow up on the Octacos. But it doesn't like I have that. It, I don't have that ability. I could draw for Snow. And then I could Boom on the bottom Octaco. Which might be right. I also just could alternatively not eat Brum. Because you can pretty safely attack. I think that might. I think there is merit to that. So maybe I want to save my boom for when the Uber Bear shows up. We'll go for this. Oh, hey. Oh, wait. Uh. I do have Shade Soul out here, actually, and Shade Soul does make all allies are immune to ink. I did forget this. Now, unfortunately for me, getting hit by the Octaco is not ideal here, but maybe I it's fine because I get the boom off. I do get the boom off. Oh, wait, and I have Pure Nail. So yeah, this is actually great. Holy shit. Yeah, we pure nail the Octaco. Alright, this... Wait! No, shit! <laughs> Fuck! I'm so dumb! <laughs> Crap. Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> Oh, it's all, it's, 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 it, it's over. It's just over. No, you're, it's fine. We get a really good tram pass on Willow here. You know what, Geo Chest? Unfortunately, I'm not getting any money out of Geo Chest, but. Oh, uh, I need to let No Eyes take this hit on the bottom lane. Because I don't want No Eyes hitting Octobomb. I'm killing one Octaco, but that's fine. Okay, this is the way you do it. You tram pass here. Although, I could actually play... No, I, I don't have the ability to play Void Mask here, so I should just tram pass Willow. I don't really have the room to play Void Mask, so we'll go 
for a silly little Tran pass play. So this makes Willow go next turn. I could play Goji Bird if I wanted to. Alright, we're getting the Yomp off. I could go for another... I could... Can I play Goji Bird here? And then Goji Bird... I don't really have any good, easy way of playing Goji Bird. You're like 8 to crack in here. And I... Th actually, I think I need an Isma's Tear the Octobomb here. <laughs> Although, honestly, what I think is better here is that you Void Mask and then you play Shelbo. It's gonna be... It's gonna feel real shitty to Shelbo and Uba Bear. But you're getting a double kill out of it, and you're triggering Octobomb. And doing it in this order means I get to play Void Mask. So you're getting a lot of value out of the exchange. I think this is I think this is good. Alright, you get the Yomp. And then you get the double kill. And then we get crazy shade soul value. And all of a sudden, we're looking. It's not looking great for the enemies. I think I want to Isma's tier the. I want to Isma's tier this Hawk Taco. Shadesoul, I never. You no, know, surprisingly, for all these runs, we've never gotten the chance for Shadesoul to, like, be a crazy counter. <laughs> is, like, is act. Is... Shadesoul is a crazy counter pick for this fight. I will snow the Lumako here. Or freeze the Lumako here. I don't actually want to let Goji Bird die unless I don't think I do. Or, um. See, we have the Kraken attacking. I'm not getting any value out of. Uh, do I have. Let's see here. It's eight. Alright, it's fine if I just do this. Yeah, okay, you're fine. And you even get a redraw out of it. Although I'm already getting a redraw. Oh, wait, and I was already killing. I didn't even need to play it. I don't want to let my thing die, so I'll just take... I'll just let No Eyes take this damage here. So wait, does Pierre know this always does the extra damage? If, okay, that card... That card looks kind of fucking... Gross. That card looks a little bit nasty. A, ta a tad bit nasty with it. Willow doesn't eat all the guys in front of it, right? I sh this is actually a good thing I should check. Alright, yeah, it's not all the things in front of it. Wait, master value. And this fight is over. I'm gonna hit the goblin to make a little bit of extra money. Alright, looking good. Looking real cool. Brum, a dum, a dum. Definitely, absolutely the top path. Again, I just mentioned you want removals here, and then you're also getting money on the top path. Absolutely. Money and removal, you couldn't ask for a better combo. Alright, we will just take the crown here. We will take the vase. The vinky. The vasey. Ooh, can I play Numelin Biscuit in this build? Lumen Ring. Um. What does Lumen Ring do here? It doesn't seem like it does anything too crazy. Yeah, nothing really. Mu nothing much. We're going to be putting this crown onto Goji Bear. Honestly, I might just play this on Pinkberry Juice, because so much of my build is going to be revolving around Pinkberry Juice. So having the Pinkberry Juice be strong, and for this reason, I'm taking a Newmoon Biscuit. There's so many good targets for Newmoon Biscuit in this run. You got Tram Pass is pretty decent. In fact, Tram Pass is actually lets you play two cards for the price of one. Well, actually, it allows you to play three cards in one turn. Because the... Oh, wait, no. Wait. Oh, yeah, if you do one biscuit it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. 
because then you play the tram pass and then tram pass gives zoom link to something and then you get and then you still have a card you get to play that turn okay it is, it, this is not a double effect yeah we we have such a good deck for just playing long I will crown the pink berry juice here or lumen base it and I will also crown it we give this initial HP to Gojis, to Gojia Burrs. All right, I am, I'm super excited. To, I'm super excited to be playing this one because this build seems super cool. All right, I think I will start to eat this. Start eating Goji Burr in these fights. And I just like Willow's got. Willow has an eye for fine cuisine because I I gotta be real, I'd eat <laughs> I'd eat Goji I would eat Goji Bird too. I mean look at him. Is he looks? Tell look at this. Look. Look at this, like Berry Man here, and tell me you wouldn't eat it. <laughs> tell me you wouldn't want a piece of that. Oh my god, Willow is just nasty. Nasty, nasty. Your Krunker would be hitting for a lot, so we're just going to cut that off. Make him cut that shit out. I'll play in... Well, I can't play an Ismus here. I'll just play an Ismus here on like, the Spuncher. Although, honestly... No, I can't let Brum get eaten. So, No Eyes is taking 3 damage here. Oh, I'm not actually redrawing a card here. That's fine. I will New One Biscuit the Pure Nail, actually. I think that's a little bit more useful. Then I get this off. I definitely want to play a... Oh, yeah, Pure Nail? This Pure Nail card is just insane. Definitely gonna play a Shelbo this turn. So you're killing that guy. You're not taking too much damage this turn. You're dealing... You... You get the explosion here. And then I'll just... Then I will just Void Mask. And you're good. Oh my god. Goji... Willow's crazy. This... Eating Goji Burr made this run fucking... Just makes this run fucking crazy. It's... It's nuts. Whip and still we got the pink berry juice in our build. Oh man. Oh babe. Oh man, baby, I'm about to make a name for myself. Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself. What am I playing this on? I don't really have much play here. I guess I'll just Honestly I could play this on Shade Mask for to redraw, but that doesn't sound that does that is not worth it. So we'll just like Okay, we won't let our leader die. <laughs> we, we won't. God, God, <laughs> what's wrong with me? We won't let our leader die. We, we, let's let's not let that happen. Let's, let's not let that happen. Oh my God, how did I how did I just notice that my leader was dying? That no eyes about to fucking become no life. All right, get me, get me out of, get me out of this. Get me out of here. I've been inked. It will take a again. This build, not a fast one. We play super. We play very slow in this build. I think I just want to be tra playing Tram Pass on Win on Willow whenever I have a chance to. I am starting to take a quite a bit of damage here, but you're honestly fine. I should just let I should just let Willow take all these hits. Death. Oh shit, I redraw every time. Wait, that's kinda good actually, because we're just cycling through the deck, making our making our pale or making our pale or stronger. That's 
I did, we, we redrawed four times. The fucking redraw combo. We redraw, we, we redrew four times there. What the hell? All right, we will pure nail Mr. Crunker here. And honestly, I'm gonna just redraw again. This pale, look at this pale ore. Oh, oh man, look at this fucking pale ore. You let Willow take this hit and then you play a pink berry juice. For sure. No reason not to eat that 23 idiot. Oh, and then I and then I eat and then I redraw. <laughs> I like this. I'm having a good time. Yeah, you know what? I'll just walk out of this fight. We'll just leave. I don't I don't feel like <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like bothering. Bothering with the rest of the stuff that's happening in this fight. I'ma just take off. Let's just pack my bags and leave this behind. Nourish charm. Flourish. Can I? It, is today the day I can actually play Flourish Charm? <laughs> Wait, whoa. Uh, you got a bit of a. You have a tiny bit of a synergy here. There is. We do have a bit of value with this flourish. However, I think I always want to click Sunbell of Charge here. Now, do I click Flourish Charm here? I was thinking of doing Flourish Charm and Cloudberry Charm because then this is gain. This said gain three HP on. This is gain three HP on kill. But what we do have is that we have Ismus tier. That becomes three. It's not bad. And it does cleanse, it does self cleanse the poison by playing Isma's Tear. So it is just 3 HP. Is that really that good? Mmm. Makes certain pickups better. Sunbell Fellowship is probably a bit hopeful. I'll click this charm that I've never clicked in my life. Duplication. Second pink berry juice sounds pretty damn good. Anyway, I will be giving... I'll actually give this to Goji Bear because we will gain the effect of it when... Although, actually, is the second pill or what you want here? Maybe. Or maybe a second pure nail. I don't know. I'll go to the Shade Sculptor. The healing's great. A second Pink Berry Juice is great, especially since it's already lumined. I kind of, I'm getting a sunken cost fallacy kind of feel here, where I just want to duplicate the Pink Berry Juice because I think I will just do this. Oh crab! Good one, good one, me. I do have ink for this fight. We do also have Geo Chest. I should be fine. It's a little scary though, because you can't get you can't use smackback against the bursters. It's a tiny bit scary. I'm like on part of me doesn't want I I, mean, I kinda just do for these fights, I do kinda just need to let Willow get hit. We play a pink berry juice on an on a play a pink berry juice on honestly. I think for safety, I'm gonna give one to my leader. Cause there's maybe a time when your leader gets hit. And this is just for this build, this, doing it like this is just for safety. Unfortunately, I really don't have the ability to eat Brum. Unless I get like Spark Charm on Willow. Oops. With because I put the curse crown on on Brum. That is a little bit sad. Alright, we need to let this Goji Bear get eaten. Uh I probably just like tram pass here. 
already. Willow has been, Willow's potential has been unlocked. I think I might just let Cla, just let Brum explode here. Cause it's, it, there is a, in fact, I have Lumen Basin let Brum explode. I think I will just do that. Cause it kills this entire top lane. This entire lane of like scary looking enemies. Instead of calling you Brum, they should have called you Br Br Boom. <laughs> I think the stutter there made it funny. So let me see how this works. Do you just. You do just gain the HP. Boom. Which is like, that's alright. That's alright. Ooh, uh. Wait, do I think Willow get eaten here? I read. Draw, I think. Yeah, because I need Void Mask. Oh, wait, I was taking. I. Oh, look at me! <laughs> Whoa! I got fucking scrap. I'm so cool. Anyway, thankfully here you have Void Mask. Oh god, the bursters in this fight are gonna be a fucking pain to try to to try to kill. Alright, we get we don't get smack back there. We smack back against the crab. I would like to I need to start, like, I need to start, like, killing this crab, and we do get the kill on it next turn. Ooh, good, good fucking job, no eyes. Two hits on the burster, burster means I'm likely able to get the kill with a channel meal. Let Willow kill the crab. I also gain a bit of money off this, which is fun. In fact, in this build... There's a chance I can just, like, make a ton of money off. I can make a lot of money off Crab here. It's scary. I think I'm gonna go for it, though. I'm down to try and make some bonus money here. Because you're only... If I play... You don't fear the burster. I do need to snow the crab because eight damages. We survive it, but it's. I'd rather just not take it. The burster is inked up. God, the snow ice unit is fucking bust. This you, no ice unit is crazy good. Oh god, damn! More guys are spawning. Let's hope I didn't get punished for just for my... Let's hope my greed does not get punished here. Because it's looking like my greed is getting a little bit punished. Uh, crabs were definitely the worst matchup we could have fought here. Absolutely. I'm going to tram past no eyes here. I'm likely killing the crab here and then... And, and I'm always inking the burster. And then this stops the Bursar's attack from being a threat, which just lets Willow be able to kill it. Right, keep giving me money to see if I care. I will Ismus here here for a little bit of healing. I should get a Void Mask into play. I want this. I want this here Burster to hit me. I will pure nail you, Numskull. You are ink. Burster is inked. We heal off this damage. God, this is a build I would really like minus one, minus one uh, turn bell counter. In fact, I feel like I should just redraw this hand to get snow. To get a pale ore. Yeah. Inking that guy twice is good. In fact, I, I actually just get the kill of Pure Nail. I really do. Yeah. And now I can just kind of sit here against Numskull and just make money. Which, you know what? That sounds pretty good. Just let this... 
Oh wait, and then I can I can play Gunk Fruit on. I can just play Gunk Fruit on Willow. Yeah, just keep giving keep the money a coming. Keep the money in keep this money coming to my damn bank account. I'm super for it. I am all for this. Unfortunately, the only like semi safe the only like safeish card I have that I can play on Willow, although I'm, I'm just killing. The only safe card I have that I can play on Willow is the old nail. I will play a void mask here and so we can get a shade soul out here. Oh wait, aren't I uh, don't oh, okay, I barely I might just be able to get one more hit on might be able to hit this willow one more time. I mean I can I oh I do have shell uh Unfortunately it is it is only one more hit with the but we got quite a bit of extra money out of that fight with eating the geocache. <laughs> That's cool. We get a shop. Very good. And another charm. Heart charm. I mean, it's more health. More health is what we like. Storm globe just seems bad. Do I click blaze tea here? Yes. <laughs> I click Blaze T here for sure, and then I crown Blaze T. <laughs> yes. For a absolutely. You absolutely click Blaze T here. And so the, the threat of this... The threat going forward here is gonna be... Oh, I don't actually have a unit that sits in Frost Bomber, Frost Bomber lane very well. I might just want to let Braum not... I actually might want to play this on Braum. Because I need a unit to spend some time in Frost Bomber's lane. So that I can build up my Willow safer. I might want to do... I think I want to do this. Let me run my other charms first. My, my other charm first. Do I actually play a Storm Globe? Peppernut charm. Bad. No, yeah, that's just bad. That it, this is this is bad. You you want you need you want survivability in this build. Survivability. Okay. Although is the plus one turn counter does actually make it it take an extra turn for Goji Bird to get eaten. Let's let's We'll be okay. I hope. I hope this blaze tea, because the blaze tea is really valuable. Is it's a lot of one extra frenzy on Willow is a ton of value, and the if when you eat Goji Burr, the turn counters increase is not too bad because you are relying on Smackback for your damage. Remember, where this build is meant to be played slow. Then I duplicate my paint, a pink berry. Oh wait, yeah, I already played the pink berry juice. Hmm. I'm waiting until after this fight to decide what I want to do with this heart charm. I should definitely play a tram pass on Willow whenever I can. I should pure nail. We get a lot of value out of no eyes in the bottom lane. I should pure nail the pure nail the bigfoot. Although I did, I do realize I might not have to worry about frost about frost jailer on the final fight. I'm gonna give this HP to Gojis. Although, honestly, can I do this fight without Willow actually getting eaten? Without, like, Willow eating anything? It's not easy. And do I actually want to try? Play Geocache here. Or Geochest, not Geocache. It's three extra H- eh. Nah, it this it's you're not 
guaranteed to get it off, and it's like you are leaving yourself up to a bit of risk. Oh, ah, damn it! I was trying to avoid getting snowed there. Shit, that's not good. Oh, I can't use Mystere here to get rid of the snow. I will do that. Also, um, guys? <laughs> Uh, it's <laughs> not looking. I do have. So you do immediately kill Bigfoot, which is good. You're taking 10 damage. You're taking 5 damage here on Willow. Honestly, it could be a lot worse. Could be a lot, lot worse. So I don't think I actually sweat it too much. Although the gobbler is gaining, but okay, maybe I do sweat this. All right, please kill. Uh, so I can pink berry juice, or I could just pure nail. I can just pure nail and save save the damage, and I definitely should. So frost guardian is inked, so this. Two smack these two smackback kicks are completely safe. Then I don't see any like risk in going for this. Oh wait, I am I do have to deal with Rock Hog on this way. Although Rock Hog is like pretty much immediately dying. It no, is just immediately dying, so it's not actually a, like a not a real threat. The kind of annoying thing here is the spike wall, but I really don't fear the spike wall that much. I am going to try to keep Barama alive in this fight. Alright, Willow kills those two. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. Not gonna lie. HP here. Pale, pale ore here. In fact, getting... Ugh. This is getting a little bit dicey. No eyes effect is does actually hurt me here. This is seven damage against the against the Uba Bear, right? The pure nail here. God, it is actually really hard for me to end this fight without anyone dying. I think I do go for the pure nail here. Oh yeah, you're not getting any attack. Okay, I I will let. I'm going to allow no eyes to take this hit. It's. Oh wait, shit! More enemies are spawning. Oh god. Ugh. Don't want. Do not like. I might just need to let Brum. There is a real shot. I just need to let Brum explode here. I, fa I feel like it's more likely. The no Eyes has enough to survive this hit, and it means I get to save more HP on Willow in case I need. I think doing it like this is correct. Okay. Do I heal Ismus here? Honestly, I might just want to play Lumen Base on Brum and just got my losses. And trying to keep them alive. I might just want to do that. I might. Your HP is five. Okay, then it's. I don't, I think I I think I'm just gonna do this. Oof! It is very scary to let your leader. So Frost Guardian will be unthawed here. Which is actually extremely useful. In fact, I act. This will. There's a chance I might not need to. Let's see how much damage is Frost Guardian taking this turn? I do this. You get this smack back in. Deal 16. Deal 13. Okay, I can actually, I actually do get the save, Brown. Okay, sweet. 
we'll just we're just doing that i wasn't super sure if i could save rum there and doing it in this order is just you know you give yourself that bit of certainty oh my god i forgot oh, plum don't heal him okay he's dead plum, don't heal frost guardian just let him die <laughs> Ooh, ooh, that got that got scary there that got real that got real real close Okay, I did mention Sunbell of the Bell is really good here, and then you also take Infinity Sunbell, because that's the only other one that's decent. Okay. So who, I think I will give this Heart Charm to Brum. So it means Brum can sit in Frost Bomber's lane and give us a, a, give us a bit of protection. And from here, I don't really do much else. You do not give this to Shelbo. It is just worse. Although I haven't really gotten time to play Shelbo in any of these fights, unfortunately. Actually, do I want to look at my crown setup here a little differently? Honestly, I think I do. Looking at the crown setup, I think you don't actually crown Goji Burr. Okay, there there is a big risk play you can do here, and it's in not crowning Goji Burr, because what you could do instead is that you could crown Numlin Biscuit, and then you can always get a, and then you always have a Numlin Pink Berry Juice in this fight. So the big scare scary part of this fight is getting this setup off the ground. Is trying to get the setup. Once you hit escape velocity, you should be safe. Alright, let's see. I am going to try doing a play that makes us it harder for us to survive, but means we can hit ex escape velocity easier. I took the crown off Brum. I meant to take it off. <laughs> I took the crown off of... Off of my... Off of Willow. I meant to take it off Goji Burr. Uh, if Blaze T was not aimless here, this would be a lot easier. Although, no, I don't think I should actually do this. Because I do have... I do have Infinity Sunbell. So I am more likely to be able to draw into my other Pink Berry Juice. Because I really want a new one Pink Berry Juice. And I probably shouldn't actually, like, super like, focus on that, because I do have the Paylor in this. You do have uh, cards like Paylor and Pure Nail that are also good at holding holding the Numlin. So I think I should actually just make it make it safer to hit Escape Velocity. Alright, you go, go for Willow first. Give Willow this charm. You go Jeeber. Put them in the front. You increase HP on Goji Bear. Then you can play Brom in the bottom lane. Okay, first play. I'm down to just Pale or Frost Crusher here. Looks good to me. You redraw a bell. You get Geo Chest. I think I then. I want to try playing... Or, no, I should actually redraw now. See, what are the chances I get a... Hmm. So, I'm drawing six cards next turn. I have seven in my draw pile. So, what are the chances of you not hitting Pinkberry Juice? Or, I did Am I recording? I am recording. What are the chances of you not hitting sh Pink Berry Juice and Newland Biscuit? They're decently high because it it is like two it is like two cards that get hmm I don't know. No matter what I do, it's it's a 2 and 7 chance that I'm getting screwed over. 
because it's either that I... It's either that I play a card here, draw a card, so that I am guaranteed to draw six cards. So if I were to, like, draw into a gunk... If I played a card here, then Infinity, Infinity Sunbell drew me a a gunk fruit, then I'd be fine. I think I... I think I am gonna redraw here. And we hit it. Sweet. Okay, that's really good. That is super dupe. That is fucking superb. Okay. We're gonna play this. I'll play this on you, Pink. On you, Goji Bear. Do you want to ink? Oh my god. Ugh. You know, the really bad thing I notice here is that Frost... Is that Frost Muncher... I should redraw here because it does guarantee... We have Gunk Fruit at the, in, the, in the bottom of my deck. It does guarantee that Frost Muncher will eat it. And I would like the chance of... Okay. I will hopefully not get screwed over for not playing Frost. And I do get a... You do get Paylor here, which is great news. I was kind of hoping that I would ink somebody else. I should play Shelbo on this upcoming turn. Because it gives me a lot of shell to work with, and it means no eyes does not get one shot. Okay. I am scared. I am very frightened. So I shell bow here. Shell bow for. Oh wait, the redraw is actually massive. I forgot about that. <laughs> you can't be serious. Ah, uh, so over. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh, it's so over. It's so fucking over. Oh <laughs> no, man! It's so over. No, we lose. We it. It's <laughs> damn. <sighs> okay. Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> no, we we. This is this. It it's G. I am. I am like extremely confident that this is GG's. <laughs> the re Brum's redraw bell fucking ruined us. Uh, and then there goes my goji bear. Damn. Uh, I don't- I can't win this fight without goji bear's effect. Goji bear was my entire lifeline for this build. Uh, that's- <laughs> That's so fucking ups- That is so- That is so upsetting. Oh, uh, and that's also really funny. Uh... <laughs> right. I think I'm just gonna call it GG's here. Brum ruined. Brum is what killed this run. Yeah, cause uh, and I'm just gonna clip, keep hitting this redraw bell until I die. I think there is like no chance I survive here. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm, I'm not going to waste ta your time by playing this pink berry juice again. We're dead. Oh, uh, wait, did I take a screenshot there? I did, I did take my screenshots. Oh my god. I can't believe that happened. Oh, we were so fucking set. Goji, we were about to eat Goji Bear. We were going to take all those hits. And then it all just fucking ends. I can't believe that happened. Oh, man.
So it is funny. It was actually that flame. The thing that also kind of ruined us there was playing flame. I thought that the I thought that Blaze T was gonna be was gonna be great for this build. It kind of just ruined us. Which is to say, I my takeaway from this is kind of that Blaze T is a card that I see a lot of other players get a ton of value out of. But I, from my own experiences, experiences, this card messes me. This card really just messes you up a lot. Oh, man. That one feels real. That one feels real unfortunate. Uh, now I gotta fight these guys, and then they're gonna get messed up when I try to play. Uh, and then this this fight is gonna become mess. What actually happens if I... I need to... We're gonna test here, and I needed to see what happens if I turn off the um the mod here. Let's see what happens if I turn off Fro Hollow Frost mod and then go back in here. Oh, it actually just turns this back into Frost Guardian. Now there's just a Goji Burr on the final fight. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I think I will just keep it like that. Anyway, that's good for this episode of Wild Frost. If you guys enjoy enjoyed it, make sure to actually I have a bit more I want to say. Well, do I actually? I'm excited to be back to. Uh, to I I definitely want to do some more runs of the of Hollow Frost because that was that that was really fun. That was a really that unit does seem really cool. Kind of hard to get off the ground, but I had the setup that let me get it off the ground. But then we just got fucking screwed over. I I can yell at the game that all I want. I could I could blame this on the game, but I do I do like I do hold myself accountable for like letting that possibility happen. When you when you do like try to do win streaking in game in roguelike games like Wild Frost and Slice and Dice, you need to like remove like the ten like the small percentage chances of your run dying. You shouldn't if you want to like actually like win streak to a high number because like over a long long course a long amount of runs here a large number of runs you'll if you keep like in each of those runs if you have like a small chance of something happening that kills you it will eventually happen so be win streaking is all about avoiding those one percent chances and that was not what wasn't even a one percent chance. There was probably like a decent chance of something like that happening. It was a one in four. It was it was a one in four, and then it was a. And then there was a chance of you redrawing. It's it's like a it's less than, it's less it's a less than fifty percent chance, but it is still a chance. And we did get burned today. Unfortunate. Anyway, that's going to be this episode of Wild Frost. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe. And I'll be out there. Have a nice day.